Hello YouTube, Krosama, and today I'm going to go ahead and go over all the July releases. Um, basically, what I like to do for this is just talk about the kits that I'm interested in, and if it's actually going to be a little bit of an interest to you. Um, usually, if it's a kit that I just think is deemed unnecessary to even talk about, I know some people really like some certain kits, um, but like the Fuminas, like, or anything related to the Fuminas, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to glaze right over that. Um, but if you're interested in it, hey, by all means, go ahead and research it and preload it yourself. So before I get into the July releases, I just want to go ahead and uh, tell you that all the kits, like, well, not all, but, um, so I got the Gundam Silhouette, uh, basically RX-78-2. I'm getting that. I'm getting the uh, Nightingale and the Crossbone. I'm getting all those tomorrow. Now, what's also happening tomorrow is at 2 p.m., my wife and I are going to be going down to Hiroshima, and we're going to pick it up. Uh, we're going to be picking up my father, my stepmom, and my sister, and they're going to be here for the next week. So, um, honestly, don't expect any uh, any new videos from Friday until uh, probably next Friday. To be honest, um, I'm really, really hoping that next week uh, there's no <laughs> there's no new kits uh, that comes out. Uh, at least any kits that I'm interested in. Um, I'm hoping that the week after will be the kits that um, are going to be new, newly released. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right into the July releases. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be uh, pretty much going to be the binder guns. Um, I actually really like this. I think they look pretty awesome, as you can see in the pictures. Um, they're going to come with some different uh, joints, so if you really want to go ahead and customize your mobile suits even further, uh, you can utilize those joints. And I was kind of like the first kit that came to mind was like the Trist uh, Tristan. Um, that'd be pretty cool. To, maybe I can utilize those for that mobile suit. Um, but I think the guns themselves look. You know they look really good. Um, I'm probably not gonna get it at least not immediately, uh, but maybe for future uh, kits that I go ahead and build or you know customize whatever, uh, I can go ahead and get these. But uh, this is a pretty you know decent kit. Uh, it's coming out on the seventh of July for six hundred and forty eight yen, so relatively cheap. And it's coming out very early in the month. Uh, but once again, I'll be um, pretty much skipping this over. Uh, but it's gonna be coming with all the parts that you see here as well as uh, right here. Okay, and the next kit that we have is going to be the high grade UC Byrlance. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not really too familiar with this mobile suit to be honest. Like I've seen it, um, but I don't really know too much. And like when I see this, I'm like, didn't they have a whole bunch of them uh, in the beginning? But I think some of them were like um, Byrlance customs, or they were like different like types, like maybe like I don't know if they're like mass produced ones or whatever. Um, but to me, like I was like, oh, is is this a revived kit? So. I'm not really too sure. Maybe y'all can go ahead and enlighten me in the comments. Obviously, I can go ahead and research on my own. Go to Gundam Wiki. Uh, but I like to go ahead and engage with y'all. So some of y'all who maybe really love this suit, tell me why you like it so much and uh, pretty much why is it deserving of this upgraded or, or new type of release. Because to my knowledge, a lot of the red used to be stickers, but now it's all parts, as you can see uh, right here. So uh, that's kind of like something I, I was you know seeing uh, when it came to people talking about this kit is like hey a lot of that red um, are pretty much parts now so I I don't think I don't think it, it looks bad by any means I think it, I think it's an all right looking kit um, I would just say it's really not up my alley of what I, I kind of like especially when it comes to mono eyes mono eyes I'm, I'm more simplistic um, this just I don't know it, it, it's really odd looking so I'm, I'm just not a fan of it um, but overall I mean it comes with a couple beam sabers, so I guess it's really going to be lacking on the um, the accessories. Maybe that's how it always is, but uh, cause I don't really see this carrying a gun, uh, a gun of any sort. Um, but yeah, coming out July 7th, uh, 2,808 yen. That's a lot. Um, I mean, if that's up your alley, then definitely, but uh, that's, that's a lot of money for a high grade. Maybe it's a big kit, but uh, yeah, I, I'm, it's going to be a pass for me. Okay, next is going to be the Harapla. Haro Happy Yellow. Pass. Alright, next we're going to have the high grade build divers, Gabaldi Rubake. Um, I'm really, really excited for this kit. I think a lot of people like completely shit on it uh, as soon as they've seen the mobile suit, like the, the kit. But when they see it in the uh, the anime's opening, they're like, oh my god, it's it's a Barbados and all that. And it's like, eh, it's probably much further from Barbados than what they actually think. Um... I mean, the closest thing that you really have is going to be the little uh, symbols on the shoulders. Other than that, the whole thing is just completely non-Barbados. It's, it's more of the Rubake. Uh, more in terms of in terms of colors and the uh, the main uh, weapon that it does have. 
Um, but other than that, I mean, I think it's I think it's fantastic. I think it looks beautiful. Um, the weapon is kind of like what sells it for me, to be honest. Like a giant like mallet uh, that also is a pair of, like like a pair of clippers or you know hedge clippers. Um, I love it. The cannon on the back looks fantastic. The colors look fantastic. And this is a, this is a kit I'm really debating about painting because I really want to go ahead and uh, do this kit justice. So I might not do a straight build. I might just go ahead and paint the entire thing. Uh, but we'll see come further down the line. Uh, so obviously you see what it comes with. Uh, it's going to have knuckle guards. Um, it's going to have the uh, the giant like mallet essentially. Uh, the hammer pliers. Uh, the shield rifle, which is going to be looks like it's just a shield. And the howitzer, uh, which is, that's probably going to be the giant cannon on its back. Uh, but overall, it looks fantastic, so the molding looks pretty good. Um, it's going to come out on the 14th, so thank God. I, I get two weeks of being able to focus on kits that I already have. I'm not buying any kits during, during the next two weeks, to be honest. Um, I want to focus on what I have, especially with the uh, SD uh, cross silhouette. If I can complete those within the next two weeks, I'm, I'm going to be super happy. Um, but this, when it comes out, I'm going to be happy with this as well. And, uh, if, if, I don't know, I, I, I might just do it justice, but, uh, Hey, it's coming out the 14th, 2,376 yen. Hey, that's a pretty good amount. I think that's, that's justifiable. It's probably gonna be a big kit and it comes with some pretty awesome accessories. So next we're going to have the Master Grade Jagan. Um, I'm very excited for this, um, mobile suit because it's only been in high grade form to my knowledge. Um, and I really wanted it. I, w I wanted all the Jagans. It's like so many different variants that I've seen uh, over the years. It's just a really cool looking grunt suit. Uh, much like the Nemo, in my opinion. Like, I think the Nemo is such a badass looking suit. And I was so happy to get it in a master grade form because I, I seen the reviews for the high grade. Wasn't too uh, fond of it. And seeing this in the high grade form, honestly, like, it, it, it it's not bad if you put a lot of work into it. Um, but I just, I... I don't know. I just really, did. I was kind of lazy. I just really don't want to buy it to have to put work into it. Um, it's just one of those mobile suits. Like, there's other kits I will, like, gladly buy to put work into. Um, this one, just, in, in particular, I really didn't want to. So, it's finally coming out in Master Grade form. It looks great. Uh, I would say, like, it, just, it doesn't look like it has a lot of surface detail, uh, which is a little disappointing. However, I mean, obviously, you can go ahead and uh, do the panel lines yourself. Um, I may actually... I may put panel lines in this. I haven't really decided yet if I want this to be like the first kit I try that on. Um, but I mean, it looks good overall. I mean, it looks like it has some pretty decent gimmicks. Um, the accessory is very lacking. It's only going to come with the shield and uh, the beam saber as well as the beam rifle. So that's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would it would have came with a lot more. And the beam rifle doesn't look that spectacular in my opinion. Like it's okay, um, but it probably could have been a lot better. I think just overall, like the 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 master grade is very cool, but maybe it doesn't warrant that four thousand three hundred twenty yen price tag. That's pretty high, but if I mean it looks like it's gonna be a pretty uh, decently sized kit. Um, hey, you know what? It, it's probably gonna be one hundred percent worth the money. Kind of like what I thought about the uh, Gunnam F ninety one two point oh. Um, I I didn't really think that it was gonna be that great when I first bought it, but then it kind of blew me out the water. I'm like, oh, like this is actually a pretty damn good kit. Um, so it might be the same case with this. Really, really hoping and excited. And it does come out at the same time as the um, Gabaldi Rubake, uh, July 14th. So I'm going to buy this as well. And uh, I don't know. I, I might build this one first before the Rubake, but I haven't really decided on which one I'm going to go ahead and build first. But yeah, those two can get built uh, probably you know within that, that first week. Okay, so next we're going to have the uh, basically a gray frame for the SD cross silhouette. Um, honestly, there's no point to get the, like, there's there's going to be the white, there's the gray, and I think there's going to be a black uh, frame. There's I don't think there's any difference. I think they're all exactly the same thing. They come with the same GM head. They're just going to be colored differently. So I think this is only going to be beneficial for, like, straight builds. Um, if you're not going to paint these kits then yeah, go ahead and choose whatever colors would be best for you, because obviously I wouldn't choose the white frame uh, for a Zaku. I would choose the gray frame for a Zaku, um, or, or a black frame, however you want to do it. Um, I would just say overall, um, I, I'm, I'm not going to pick this up, because or I might pick it up if there's no white. So if there's no white, I'll pick up the white. I mean, if there's no white, I'll pick up the gray, no gray, I'll pick up the white. It's, to me, it's not going to really matter, because they're all going to have the same price tag. Uh, but this is coming out on the 21st of July, so 
Um, if you really want to pick this up to match with any of your uh, SD kits that you're not painting, definitely pick this up. Okay, so next we're going to have the SD Cross Silhouette Zaku 2. Um, I'm really, really excited for this because I'm, I'm just in, I'm in love with this series. Like, I haven't even built, I haven't built any of the kits yet, and I'm just so super stoked. Um, so with this, I'm really considering buying two because I think it's going to come with the Commander's Horn. Uh, it's just like the way that the, the forehead has like the uh, kind of like a peg. Like it has an indication that there's a peg in there. And you can pop the peg off and put a commander's uh, fin on there. So if it does come with a commander's fin, like if I know 100% it comes with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and buy two and then paint one in Char's colors. More than likely there's going to be a Char one in the future. Um, I'm just gonna, I would, I'm just going to go ahead and just paint it, you know, like... I don't, I don't even know what colors I, I really would paint it, but I, like I mean obviously red, but I don't know what like kind of texture red. If I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I'm definitely gonna do shading, but because I, I haven't done any shading at all, so I'm gonna practice shading on that. Um, but overall, it's great, so I'll definitely buy two. Uh, it's coming out on the 21st, and I don't think any other kits coming out that week. Uh, so if I buy two, then then for that week I can go ahead and just build two SD cross silhouettes, and I'll be super super happy. Now you're also going to have the High Grade Build Divers Gundam 00 Diver Ace. Uh, this is basically just the 00 Diver and the uh, Ace unit combined in one package at your convenience. Um, th the major difference with this and everything else is that it comes with the uh, the actual clear red uh, jewel for the V-Fin. Cool. I just painted mine and I bought the separate piece. Um, so, and, and, and honestly, I think this is more expensive than just buying both of them both of them separately because at least in, here in Japan I can get the double O diver for about 860 yen which is about eight dollars and sixty cents and I think the double O well the uh the, the ace unit I think that was about seven bucks so yeah I, I paid significantly less uh, and I just painted the jewel so yeah at least in Japan this is more expensive expensive than buying just both of them separately um but who knows if you can actually find both of them at the same store or in the central location so sometimes it might just be more convenient to purchase this and not purchase two different things, especially if you're overseas. Uh, but overall, I'm not buying this because I already have it. So if you really want it, that's what you're going to get. Okay, and next we're going to have the high-grade build divers, Jinyan, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, Gundam Jinyan uh, Ultron. So I'm like, okay, I'm really excited for this. I'm going to buy it 100%. Um, I just don't like the whole tiger lion or, or t tiger wolf uh thing like I, I think they look ugly they look completely ugly um maybe not as much as the wolf the wolf doesn't look too bad but god that tiger looks just ugly um i don't know like I, i'm a buy it but i want I, I would love to just not have them on the shoulders um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I was thinking about painting this kit, uh, but now that I keep looking at them, you know, I'm just gonna spray build it to be honest. Uh, if they come out with a high grade Ultron Gundam, you know, who knows? Like they, they could, they could possibly come out with a like a revive high grade Ultron Gundam. If they do that, I'll paint that kit. Uh, but as of right now, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and spray build this. It doesn't look too bad. Um, the yellow could be pieces, but I'm, I'm really convinced that those are gonna be stickers, so I'll paint that. Um, so any kind of missing applications, I'll paint all that. But um, overall, like it, it's a really great design. Don't get me wrong. Um, I'm I, I just wish that that tiger you know wolf thing was not a part of it. Uh, it is coming out on the twenty eighth of July, so at the end of the month, which I think is is pretty good. You know, it gives me some some time to build other things. You know, I got a lot of kits I need to go ahead and get through. Um, it's coming in at a thousand nine hundred forty four yen. Great price tag, I think for. Um, it's kind of like what you're getting. It's a fairly bulky kind of kit, like as far as like what what you're getting. Um, so overall, I think that's not bad. Uh, you know, has a shield, got the little uh, dragon hands, um, the, t the twin Gaian pang hands. Okay, so yeah, okay, so I think it's supposed to be fangs, giant fangs, or maybe that's how I should pronounce. It. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty excited for this, so uh, definitely gonna be a buy for me. Okay, and another kit that's coming out on the 28th of July is going to be the High Grade GM Guard Custom. Um, I'm really excited for this because I love that giant shield. Um, it, it's not too many suits that you see that have a giant shield like that. So, um, 
I think it looks fantastic. It has a little gimmick on its head to where the little visor comes down. Um, its weapon is very lackluster. I, I mean, it, comes, it has the two little beam daggers, which I think is, is cool by itself. But it has like a very generic uh, GM kind of like uh, beam spray gun. Uh, I think it's okay, but I would rather equip this with something um, maybe more long distance. Or I know if it's going to have a shield, it's going to be more close. So maybe like give it a shotgun, honestly. Um, but overall, I think it looks, I look, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, I, just looking at the pictures, I think it's going all over, uh, going off of the, uh, Gun of the Origin. Yeah. So it's, it's doing the Gun of the Origin, uh, style, which, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of. Um, so this is definitely gonna be a great kit. It's probably gonna come with some great, uh, stickers. Um, overall, pretty excited. Gonna detail as much as I can. Not painting it, but, uh, I'll definitely do some, uh, some touch-ups to it. Uh, it's also coming in at 1944 again. Uh, great price tag. I mean, that's kind of like the average for these uh, origin kits. Uh, but also coming out July 28th. So great, it's coming out at the end of the month as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the main kits that's coming out in the month. Um, now let's just go ahead and glance over one more time. So you're getting the uh, GM Guard. Uh, you're getting the Ultron, which is coming out on the 28th. Um, I think that's fine. I think that's that's a pretty good time frame for those two. Uh, so I'm definitely buying those. And then the week prior, you're going to have the uh, silhouette, the frame, as well as the double diver ace. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab two of those. So that week's going to be with these two. Uh, the week prior, you're going to get these two guys. Definitely buying those two. And the week before that, uh, you're getting the uh, Byrolunt. And I'm not buying that. So that's going to be a free week for me to work on uh, already, you know, exist uh, pretty much the SD cross silhouette uh, kits that I'm uh, purchasing. But let's go ahead down and we're just going to glance over the P Bandai stuff since most people, I don't think, are really going out of their way to try and get P Bandai kits. Um, I mean, if, I, if I'm out in town, I see like one I really want, I'll buy it. But I'm not here pre-ordering, so I'll glance over them. Uh, you get the e Freak, uh, looks pretty cool, 2160 yen, um, coming out in July. Uh, I mean, I'm not buying that. Next, you're going to have, these are mostly parts right here. So these three for the Hazel, you're getting the G parts, you're getting the, uh, the boosters, the shield boosters, um, the more G parts. So these are just uh, two different colors. Uh, that's, I think that's a like, little ship thing. So we'll go ahead and click on that if my internet wants to be a little bit faster. Okay, so here it is. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a ship almost. Like it's, I don't, I don't know much about the advance of Zeta, to be honest, guys. Like I'm not a, a, a big lore junkie. It looks great. Like, if I had a Hazel, I would buy this. This would be, like, my main squeeze. Um, I think it does look fantastic. Maybe two shields on one arm is a little bit overkill. Um, but, honestly, like, this looks pretty damn good. Um, it's kind of a shame that I don't have a Hazel. I would actually love to get a Hazel just to get uh, all these parts because they look fantastic. But, um, yeah, I'm not picking it up. Uh, if... If I happen to get a Hazel and I happen to see these parts on town, I'll go ahead and get it. Okay, next we're looking at the Master Grade Zaku Cannon. Uh, I don't care. It's a Zaku Cannon. I think Zaku Cannons are ugly, to be honest. So, um, 5,400 yen if you want to get it. Definitely go ahead and get it, but I'm not really too interested. Okay, and the next thing we're going to have is going to be the High Grade Regelg. Um, I'm, I don't care about it, to be honest. Uh, 2,160 yen. Cool. Um, I'm not really a fan of the looks of it, so I'm definitely passing. Uh, next is gonna be the Master Grade 100 Gundam X3. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I just don't care. Like it's all it is. I think is a recoloring. Like there's no new accessories, so a, a very slight recoloring of the original X3. Um, so not really too excited. Don't really care. Uh, if I see it on town, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it. Uh, 4320 yen. Obviously, it's gonna be jumped up to probably like 6,000 yen. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit too steep for me. I'd rather just get a regular X Gundam and just repaint it. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, I can definitely tell you just off the bat, my yeah, probably gonna be mad at me for saying this, but my most excited kit of next month is the SD Cross Silhouette Zaku 2. I'm sorry, I'm really looking forward to getting that. Uh, the second would be the Gabaldi Rubake. Um, but other than that, like everything else is kind of like meh. Uh, it's a very slow, slow month next month, but. Uh, you're definitely gonna get some videos. If I can't get any, if if I don't, uh, if I already put these videos out as far as like the kits that are coming out for July, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll dip into the backlog finally and start getting some stuff from there. Uh, but overall, uh, I, I definitely want to get these kits out there and review for you. But other than that, guys, 
Uh, definitely thank, thank you for watching. We're almost at 5,000 subscribers. Super, super excited. And I cannot wait to go ahead and make the big announcement uh, when we hit that milestone. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews as well as more boxes and everything else uh, on the Crow Show. So I'll see y'all guys later. Bye-bye.